Love Never Dies and, and other work. Also, and I was thrilled to, uh, about this, that, um, that you helped Susan Boyle through her tougher times. In fact, I think she came and stayed with you for a while, didn't she? Yes. Uh, Susan, this time last year, Susan came and stayed here with us and we learnt all our songs for her album and we just sat there every day and we got a little schedule going we'd get up have our breakfast then we'd do a couple of hours singing then we'd have a lunch then we'd have a break in the afternoon and we, we just had this you know real structure going to do it and I think it was a lovely time for her because she'd you know she'd been through a tough time in her life and I think she needed a bit of normality and real family life and we'd sit down to tea with my kids and and just have a bit of calm time in her life when yeah. she needed it and she really enjoyed being here, and I think it was the perfect way for us to learn the stuff so. for the album. And uh, didn't they take to her in America? Yes, the Americans absolutely yeah. adore her. I think they see her as somebody who, against all odds, has made it. And I think a lot of them in America see people who make it as people with perfect teeth, perfect hair, perfect skin, perfect mm. figure, um, and young. And, and they have got this kind of thing where that sort of happens. So they see a normal person with normal looks yeah. um, coming from nowhere doing well. They've really related to that. That's great. Well, every success to her. Uh, dare was, I mention... Um, well, I was just going to say to you that she was mobbed in Bedford. We had such a laugh. <laughs> she oh. was staying at my house. She went down for a coffee and would <laughs> someone had realised Susan Boyle was in Costa Coffee. So um, suddenly she looked up and there was just a sea of people outside Costa Coffee in Bedford, including photographers. So she thought, oh dear, what am I going to do? So she phoned up my friend. I'd given her a number. I wasn't with her. She was with um, someone who works for her. I'd given her a number of one of my friends who's an estate agent, local estate agent. And Nick, um, my friend, came and rescued her from Costa Coffee, <laughs> took her back to the state yeah. agency and gave her a lift home. So uh, she survived her trip to Bedford. I'm sure she did. And, of course, being mobbed is, is um, a form of adoration, so that was all right. Yeah, and everyone loves her when they mob her, you know, because yeah. people do genuinely love Susan. I think yeah. that, you know, it's, it's the sort of people who just they just want to shake her hand, don't they? It's yeah. not like uh, girl fans, you know, anything yeah. like that. It's, it's a little De bit more calm. 